Welcome to Small Aid. Well, this is a piece of cast iron I got from a friend. He found it stuck in the desert somewhere. And, well, it's a really nice piece of steel. And of course it was really, really rusty. I cleaned it up, I prepared it, coated it with black enamel paint. And of course, I'd love to show you all that, but all I can show you are pictures because, well, my flashcard failed. <laughs> so, uh, what are we doing now? Well, in this video, I'm going to do a few things. First of all, I'm going to show you the structure. Get that out. This is a mild steel plate. I cleaned and painted as you can see and this is the bottom of this thing I'm guessing this is a part of a drilling head now I also drilled a hole over here so this connects to basically a fan a preliminary test done already which was filmed and lost uh, shows it's working pretty nice so what we need now is some sort of isolation Okay, our camera just went dead battery. So we got a nice coat over there. And we're going to repeat that. So what I'm going to do is now is just uh, basically coat this layer with a very fine layer of cement, as fine as I can get it. Remember, this is not super fine. This is fairly coarse. Okay, so this is 
layer number one. There will be layer number two. And we'll have to see how it goes. So far it looks pretty darn good. I'm pretty happy with that. During the night our cast has cured semi. Still very softish and sort of crumbly. So I didn't take the whole footage but uh, I just removed what I had to, meaning the masking tape over here, and clean it up and give it another go. Now this has gone through severe <laughs> filling efforts and we may need to do a third coat but a really really fine one. So this is fairly thick. I think it should do just fine. We're around 45 millimeter inner diameter of the core which is really tiny but still very interesting for really small scale work and then not have to run the whole gas burner for tiny stuff like that so I think I'll be functional and effective but while we're talking about that once I'm done the clay is still burning here once I'm done the charcoal is still burning here clay doesn't burn and <laughs> we need to fill this up or plug this up the last time uh, get out of frame last time I used this which is a puck of steel somebody flame cut and just threw away found it to thrown on the floor somewhere anyway I need something more effective I found these these are cast iron panel coating the kitchen burners basically speaking and they're usually just one piece like this thing one solid mass of cast iron but not in this case and I picked those just yesterday and I said to myself, well, you might have use for that and it actually may be uh, mild steel instead of cast iron. Don't know that, but uh, I haven't tried drilling in it and so I can see the difference. In any case, we've got lots and lots, well not lots and lots, but we do have quite a bit of material left here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste, paste it like that, more or less sitting flat. We got these two lovely pegs here to assist and we'll just pour it all over and we'll have a base that's actually thermally stable concrete and we can do that it's going to be nice and flat more or less it doesn't have to be totally flat to choke the charcoal it has to fit more or less the concave shape of this forge so and yes, in case you're wondering, I do have a tube stuck here uh, because I wanted to make sure the opening, which I hand drilled, nice and slow, is going to stay open. Well, we're not going to finish this video without any test firing, right? So, let me uh, fire it up. It will fit nicely. Very nice. And I'm going to light it. Okay, uh, looks a bit warmer now. Staying nice and cozy in there. So hot. Is that out? <laughs> Yay! That's hot. Well, I did expect it to get hot, but not all over. Since it's a short, stubby stick, we have some red hot iron in seconds. Really, really cute. Very messy, but really, really cute.
So far we run it on charcoal. I have some coke here. This is coal, a fossilized tree. And while so far it's been working really well with just some uh, plain charcoal, which heats readily, let's try some coke. Let me get the tongs. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Glowing red hot. Wow, and that's what I call really, really impressive. This is, by the way, an aluminum tubing. <laughs> the air running through it is cooling it. So this is really impressive. Like we could really do some blacksmithing work for that. Not right now. It's uh, about something like uh, 11 o'clock at night. But really, this is glowing hot as you can see on the back background. And actually, I don't see it glowing anymore, but the camera does. Very, very cool. So, the lesson of the day, A, we need to protect this thing. Uh, lesson number two, we've got this cap. You can close it, and it's safe, secure. The fire will die out, the coal will stop burning. No oxygen is going in there except for the small port here and there's no pressure. So, we have a small mini forge. It's really, really nice. Works really, really well. And, this is hot to touch. 70, 80 degrees Celsius-ish. It's not super hot. So the isolation is doing its job. Really nice, nicely working forge, mini forge. So for small work, I'm going to be using this forge. And that's uh, that concludes uh, this evening. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Have a sweet day.